In this video, I will demonstrate how to draft potable water piping. In this case, I will activate the pipe function and I will position the pipe start in this wall here. Okay. And I will define the start from. I will start this pipe from the story above. And next, I will define the medium. In the group drop down list, I will select domestic water. And I will start with the medium PWC cold water. At the material drop down list, I can select the material type. I'll select this plastic VPE. At the size uh, drop down list, I will predefine as 20 diameter nominal. Okay, so far so good. I'll click OK. And then I'll just click OK for this height at 2.5 meters. I will come to, to this pipe close to this wash basin uh, direction, uh, perpendicular to the wash basin. And then I will cross um, half of this wash basin. And I will press enter so I can have, I still have the pipe function active. And if I move to the segment, to a pre-existing pre segment, it's highlighted. If I left click, I can insert a T, okay? I'll just insert as it is. I could also uh, change the product in a three dots button or change the branch in this drop down list. Okay, I'll click OK and I will keep drawing the segment and I will cross this shower mixer and then I can now press escape to close the function. All right, now from this pre existing route here, I can select so I can automatically generate other pipes, parallel pipes, such as the hot water and circulation. So I will select one of these segments and I will use the hotkey shift T. If I right mouse click, this is the option I used, expand selection to complete flow path section. And I use, I selected this path so I can use this option, draw parallel pipes. Now, I have predefined in this drop down list the pipes I would like to, to, to create as parallel. So I have first the hot water and the, circ the circulation. If you like, you can change the positioning of the pipes when they are created. And you can also uh, set the offset distance from the pipes. I will set as default and I'll click OK. All right. So now we see here the, the hot water in red and the circulation in magenta. All right, I would like to include insulation to this hot water and circulation pipe. What I would do, I would double click this hot water pipe. If I come to the tab insulation, I can select the checkbox use insulation. In the drop down, in the three dots button, I can access the product database of insulations. This is okay for now. Click okay. As you can see, this is a representation of the width of the insulation. I will do the same for the circulation. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure that uh, there is a clash here. If we look in 3D, we see here, okay. But uh, let's assume that I, I miss it or I I was not aware of this clash. We can make use of a function called check and update model. And from here, we can make a, a simple clash detection. There is an advanced clash detection, but here we can just make a clash detec detection uh, among the pipes. If I select here the checkbox pipes and we see this representation showing where, where is the, the, the clashes, where are the clashes? And we also see these issues. If we click on the see more, we see here uh, highlighted the the seg uh, the pipes that are clashing. Okay. Now we'll press uh, I'll close here the, the issues list. And a way that I could solve this issue, I could like split this pipe, like here. By splitting this pipe, I could only remove this segment over here. Now we'll refresh so I can, I don't have the symbol cr clashing symbols anymore. And to solve now to or, or to reroute this, I will start the pipe once more. 
and start from the T. If I move this pipe close to the other pipe, it's, it highlights some options of climb under, climb over. If I select this under and over, this dialog presents me options to avoid this clash. I will select this over and 45 degrees, for instance. Uh, but it went up and then went down and it will still clash with the circulation pipe. So to solve it, I will press backspace. So it goes back the last knot and then I can click here and uh, click on the pre-existing pipe and now I could say okay I'd like to to make this type of connection or other types as suggested I'll just use this direct connection okay let's see the resulting 3d 